right, uh, to go through the history of this channel and explain what the plans are taking this channel forward into the future. The origin of Tech Ingredients is about five years ago, uh, one of my sons had established an online site for the purchase and sale of uh, computers and computer components. And in support of that effort, he had uh, produced a number of uh, tutorial videos, short videos that would explain how to use and uh, how to install some of the equipment. At the same time, all of us here uh, were involved in a number of online forums that covered a broad variety of subjects. And two of the forums that uh, I was involved in, and still am, are uh, Photon Lexicon and Laser Pointer Forums. These are uh, discussion groups that focus around lasers, uh, all the way from lasers for fusion, as well as weapons lasers and uh, projection uh, entertainment lasers, all the way down to you know, the latest and greatest uh, keychain laser pointer. And on some of the threads, the discussions would uh, center around uh, the production of uh, certain uh, devices and techniques. And it was frustrating to try to cover those subjects when uh, you were limited to text. So I had mentioned that, and um, Alex had said that uh, it'd be a good idea for me to produce some short videos, and then we could post them on his site and link them to the threads that were discussing the topics. I did that, and it was remarkably successful. People appreciated it and uh, got a lot of information across. And over time, uh, I produced additional videos. Those early videos aren't part of this channel. But as additional videos started to go up on this, uh, this channel, what I was becoming aware of was the fact that the audience was much broader than the original audience that they were generated for. And so now that uh, my sons have uh, returned to the area, and because we have such a broad range of technical and scientific interests, the plan is to broaden the uh, topic matter on this uh, site well beyond just the lasers that I've covered to date. And uh, also to try to start producing videos uh, much more frequently than we have up to this point. So to begin with, the approach uh, will be to continue the laser uh, videos just as I have. But one of my sons is uh, very interested, uh, has been for a long time, in radio. And uh, he knows a lot, a, lot, a lot about it. And he's built some very efficient and extremely high-power broadcast radio transmitters. Uh, a couple of examples of some of his work uh, are on this table right here. The upper unit produces 150 watts, and the lower unit, the one right below it, uh, produces 1,000 watts of output. This is... Uh, one of the dumps that are necessary to take that kind of power when uh, doing testing. But nevertheless, uh, we're going to be covering in a number of videos uh, the electronics behind these systems, the design uh, philosophy, uh, and also doing some demonstrations of them in operation and uh, give a lot of, uh, I think, useful information for people who may be uh, interested in the radio and electronic aspects of what I've discussed in the laser videos. In addition, uh, one of the other areas that we've been very interested in is photography. Uh, primarily photography as it relates to astrophotography. Uh, we've built a number of uh, telescopes over the years, uh, the largest of which is uh, currently being operated on a mountaintop observatory, a uh, professional observatory uh, by the University of Denver. And uh, going through some of those topics about uh, how to build telescopes, uh, how to design them, uh, will be something that I think will be interesting to follow. And it kind of leverages off of some of the optical discussions that I've had with the lasers. Um, in addition, we've always been interested in the uh, remote-controlled hobby uh, area. And um, we began building some uh, of these multi-rotors a few months ago. And as an example, you saw a little snippet of this in my previous video. Um, this is a multi-rotor that we're working on, and uh, is the beginning of a series of different projects that we're going to be uh, that are going to be centered around uh, large, custom-built, uh, uh, very high-performance um, carbon fiber multi-rotors. 
I will show how they're put together, uh, the engineering behind them, uh, some of the things that we've learned in the process of building these, um, how you could do it, and then do a number of videos about the performance, things that you can do with such a large and uh, efficient system such as this. In addition to that, uh, also very interested in chemistry. Uh, kind of along the lines of the, the dye laser project and a lot of the uh, chemistry that's involved with that. Uh, we do a lot of uh, chemical synthesis and analysis. Um, I've got some of the equipment back here on this, this little lab table. Sometimes it expands way beyond that, uh, that set of equipment that I have up there right, right uh, in front of you over here. But uh, beyond that, we also get involved in um, the uh, use of some of the laboratory equipment. Uh, you know, some of the pieces of equipment there are pretty obvious. Some things that uh, are not so obvious, we'll go through in a little bit more detail and uh, show you how to use them and uh, what some of these funny looking pieces of glassware are for. Uh, practical chemistry as well. Uh, we do a lot of distillation. Um, in some of the videos I'll show you how to make uh, an excellent scotch. Um, so the topic, uh, topics that we're going to be covering are going to be broader and even though we're going to cover a different types of areas, hopefully we'll follow the same sort of philosophy which is a sort of high-level DIY type of approach to the videos. Uh, show you how to do things, but then also try to keep it interesting even if you don't try to uh, duplicate the kinds of uh, projects that we've uh, presented. And I don't think I'm pandering to say that uh, the audience for these kinds of videos is smart, very smart. And understandably, the, some of the times that we present some of this information uh, the audience is going to be more knowledgeable about the subject matter than we are. And hopefully at that uh, time you will um, agree that we've, we've kind of got it right and that we've presented it uh, clearly. Uh, and if it turns out that it's a subject, like all of us have areas that we don't know about or we don't uh, understand very well, that you'll come away with the idea that, oh, now I understand. That's why they do it that way. And so we don't plan to gloss over subjects, but we plan to keep them both interesting and hopefully useful and uh, helpful. Uh, the other thing that I want to do, and I think it's important at this point, is to apologize. Uh, I've had a number of complaints uh, about my videos that I never respond to the comments. And in my defense, uh, I have to say that the reason that uh, I've done it this way was because the original purpose of the videos that I produced up to date were a video repository of information that were then discussed on the forums that originally generated the, the um, motivation to produce the videos. But I think that's wrong and uh, as a result if you're willing to spend the time to watch the videos and you're willing to uh, go further and comment on the videos I think I have an obligation to respond to that. So I won't respond to everything but I'll try to respond when I think it's useful or it would add to the value of uh, what's been posted. And so moving forward, um, I think this, uh, this channel is going to become a little bit more broadly appealing. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's a little scary, uh, but what the heck. So I hope uh, that gives you some idea of what we plan to do. And uh, I hope you continue to watch. And I'll wish you a very good night. Thanks.